Sawadee I'm JP Mistanza. It's January 19th. Welcome to Phuket Extra brought to you by... Chelong Mayor Samranjit Dapon confirmed to the Phuket News that foreigners living in Chelong will be freely vaccinated for COVID-19 once the national government has approved which vaccines may be used in Thailand. 20 million baht have already been set aside by Chelong Municipality to source the vaccine once they become available by the Public Health Ministry. Mayor Samran confirmed that COVID vaccines obtained by Chelong Municipality will be freely available to all the over 20,000 people registered as living in Chelong Subdistrict, regardless whether the resident is Thai or foreign. Meanwhile, news broke this morning that Thailand's Food and Drug Administration is expected to approve the Oxford AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine this week for emergency use in the country. The Director General of the Ministry of Public Health Disease Control Department confirmed that the ministry was likely to begin its COVID-19 inoculations using the AstraZeneca vaccine next month. The ministry routine is to follow up on people injected with the COVID-19 vaccine for at least four weeks afterwards, during which time all possible allergic reactions or complications are strictly recorded and investigated. It's unclear at the moment which vaccines would become available to Phuket from the health ministry. In February, 200,000 doses of the Sinovac vaccine from China were scheduled to be delivered to Thailand if given the regulatory approval. It's expected to go towards frontline medical workers and people with underlying medical conditions, but that has yet to be confirmed. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. The biggest jail sentence ever for violating the Les Majeste law in Thailand, it's been handed down to a former civil servant who will now spend about 43 years in prison for sharing audio clips on social media critical of the monarchy. The woman, identified only by her first name of Anjan, is in her mid-60s and was arrested back in 2015 and was later released in November 2018 on bail. Her case had began in the military court when all violations of Section 112 were prosecuted until it was transferred to the criminal court, and she later pled guilty, hoping for a more lenient sentence. But today, the court sentenced her to 87 years in prison and then gave her half that for pleading guilty. Each charge of Les Majeste under Section 112, which are insults, threats, or defamation of leading royals, it carries 3 to 15 years in jail. Anchan immediately appealed the sentence. A man who has been severely affected by the COVID-19 fallout took to social media in desperation last week, offering to sell one of his eyes. This is 57-year-old Dawip Mipang from Chelong, and last Friday he posted on his Facebook account that he was willing to sell his left eye to raise funds to support his family. He was a bus driver for a Chinese tour company for 15 years before losing his job last February when tourist numbers visiting the island began to dry up. The desperate call out reached Chelong Mayor Samran Jindapol, who visited the man over the weekend and managed to help secure the man work at a private company. The COVID-19 pandemic has taken its toll on people all across the island. If you or anyone you know is in need of mental health services, please contact the Samaritans of Thailand at their 24-hour hotline at the bottom of your screen or the Thai Mental Health Hotline at 1323. Phuket Exhibit back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Phuket Immigration has confirmed that evidence of a COVID-19 test proving that a foreigner is not infected with the virus is not required for extending a permit to stay. Phuket Immigration Deputy Chief Colonel Naruit Putawido told the Phuket News, quote, We do not require any medical documents for an application to renew a visa because there are few foreigners' movements outside Phuket. Most of them live and work in Phuket and have done so before the new wave of COVID-19. He also noted that at this stage, a COVID-19 test was still not required for foreigners to renew their work permits. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. And officials confirmed 171 new COVID-19 infections in Thailand today. The new total is now 12,594 cases. 74% of total patients have recovered. The death toll is still 70. 
Thank you for watching Phuket Extra today, brought to you by the lyrics below. We'll be back tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket.